Hello, I am Raziel, and today, as a vote for you, we are talking about the Chief Librarian of the Thousand Sons, Azek Araman. Azek Araman, probably the strongest psychic Astartes that ever lived, and probably the third most powerful human psyker, only surpassed by the Emperor and Magnus, his Primarch. Unlike the other sorcerers of Chaos, using the warp to increase their power and influence, Araman is searching for ways to save the Thousand Sons from the curse of the Rubric. You know, what he caused. It is pure Xenchian that of the gods chosen champions, Lucius, Slanesh, Typhus, Nurgle, Khan, Khorne, and Araman, Zinch. It is Araman that stands alone in despising his chosen god. As with Zinch, his schemes means you will get what you ask for, but not what you expect. This goes for Araman and his spell of Rubik. Araman arrived on Sorterius, the planet of sorcerers. He believed he was safe. The planet felt like a sanctuary. Such is the way of Zinch. The Thousand Sons had found a home. The cost was steep though. Sorterius was the planet where Thousand Sons were truly cursed. Many loyal space me chapters and their successors have been gene cursed, like the Blood Angels and the Red First. The Thousand Sons gene seed was as cursed, if not worse. This was the flesh change. While it seemed halted for a while, the planet submerging in the warp meant it returned with a vengeance. Something had to be done, or the entire Legion was going to be little more than hentai rejects. They could not look towards their gene father, the Primarch Magnus, for he was too busy studying and plotting revenge on a certain wolfish legion. Araman decided something had to be done. Araman had discovered a spell that would save his brothers. The chief librarian of the Thousand Sons and his co-conspirators worked on the spell of Rubric. This spell was the final curse of the Thousand Sons. It did indeed stop the flesh change, but it also irreparably changed the sons of Magnus. Now, due to the unforeseen effects of a rubric, sealing the legionnaires in their armour and turning their bodies into dust, Magnus exiled his once famous son. Arman banished until he could comprehend Sinch's true nature. All this did was make Arman even more focused on curing his legion. This became his obsession, not only to cure the Legion's cursed gene seed of the flesh change, but also the effects of the Rubik's spell. His ultimate goal was not to only restore the Thousand Sons to their former glory, but to have them at a position of power, hopefully to the strength of a Legion, but as strong as the Legion was before the rules were released on Prosper. After casting the spell of Rubik and its Aftman, Araman has crossed the stars, leaving destruction and ruin in his wake, gathering all he could use. Going all he could use. These are people, be they renegade space means mutants, or Frau van Rubike. All are expendable to Araman if they can help towards his ultimate goal, the final exoneration of him and his legion. Araman believes without question he has the power to restore his damned brothers. There is no challenge he won't accept, whether, it, whether it's cruel, dark or taboo. None of that matters to him, not to once, not to the one chief librarian, if it helps him reach his goal. To the uninitiated, these attacks seem like random attacks and appearances. In actuality, Araman's plans are as complex and as sprawling as his demonic gene sire. Along with his Inferno Bolt Pistol, in battle, Araman also wields his Black Staff, a corrupted Force Staff, which appears in the warp as a flaming emptiness, topped with two horns of a Demon Prince, Vadhakar, and the Stone of Hidden Truths. Its haft is from Araman's original Hekwa Staff that burned on Prosper during the invasion of the Space Wolves led by their Primarch Demon Rust. The Black Staff was created by Araman, including searching Tiska for the Stone of Hidden Truths and defeating the Demon Prince. The Black Staff also has a blade and it is formed from the desecrated remains of an Aldari Force Staff. 
Our man is constantly upgrading and improving the black staff with more and more powerful sorcerous items, further increasing his own abilities. Lately, the ex chief librarian has set his sights on the Eldari and their forbidden law. Now, he isn't too mind about certain Eldari. There is the Black Library, its infinite amount of knowledge, and the power our man can obtain for it. Then there is the Yanari. Now, this one has really piqued our man's interest. The Eldari Death Cult, as you know, worships Euphrain. No, Euphrain worships Yanari, I do apologize. After seeing this newly formed Xenos faction revive his lost brothers when they slaughtered them, our man really took an interest. Because now our man has a map to the webway. So not only does he know where the Black Library is located, it helps him pursue the prophetess of Euph Euph Prophetess Euphrain. He has seen her powers in person, from capturing souls of the deceased to restoring life of those who have passed, and including restoring the ultramarine primarch Rubute Gwelliman. Our man believes Ephraim will aid him and restore his beloved religion. He has made many attempts to kidnap the Yanari princess, and should he succeed, who knows what it means to the galaxy? Only the Chaos Sorcerer knows. Our man, his goal to restore his brother gives him deeper character, not just a villain being villainous. He is also a man who has accepted his mistakes and means to do right his wrongdoings. Now, whether or not this is good, or even for the betterment of mankind, no one knows, except Zinch and, of course, the Chief Librarian, our man. Thank you very much for watching. That was an interesting one to all. And I'm quite sure. And this is actually a part one. This is a short, brief amount for our man because I'm going to reread his omnibus and see what more I can get from that. It's a damn good story as well, damn series. And as well worth reading if you're into more of a chaos lore. Now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe as always. I like to see what you say and what you write down below. And I do try to talk to everyone and leave a message with them. Good, bad, whatever. Anyway, as always, the links to Element Rayland Games, not Element Games, Rayland Games, Forbidden Planet, Patreon, which I will check. So if you have, I will double check on that one. And I will put you up in the next video. I promise. And of course, my t shirts and my comics. All the links down below. Have a great day. Enjoy your hobby. And I hope you take part in one of my polls as they help me choose which videos to do next. And they give you a bit of choice on what to what on what to be made. Thank you very much and have a great day.